Have you ever heard of Uzbekistan? Probably not. Well, it's a country located in Central Asia. Did you know that Uzbekistan is actually really big on cotton? Well, this is the story of Kunduz Kadira. Kunduz was born in Namadgan, which is a city in Uzbekistan. She was born in 1983. When Kunduz was 17 years old, she moved to Tashkent, which is the capital of Uzbekistan. She got married in 2004, and two years later, she had her first kid. In 2007, Kunduz gave birth to her second kid. Then, in late 2012, her third and last kid was born. In 2018, Kunduz moved to Georgia with her kids. She lived there for about four years. Kunduz had a big change in her life in December 2022. She decided to move to the U.S. because she wanted better education for her kids. She flew here by a plane on a very, very long flight that was about 13 hours. Kunduz's had, husband had lived in New York for a few years before her and her kids. Since her husband lived here before her and her kids, he had already chosen a house to live in and she hasn't moved since. She moved to Scarsdale, New York. At first, it was very hard for Kunduz because she missed her family and friends from Georgia and Uzbekistan. Kunduz would really love to spend every holiday and weekend with her parents and siblings. But unfortunately, her family lives across the whole entire world. However, Kunduz is very happy that her parents are currently visiting her. And so there were a few pros and cons about moving to a new country. The pros were that all of her kids will are grown up and had a time to assimilate to a new country and spend more time on self-development. Some of the cons were that it would be better for her to come to the U.S. earlier to achieve more goals. It was also hard for Kunduz to understand all the tax, credit, and healthcare systems because in Georgia and Uzbekistan, everything was different. Kunduz never felt like an immigrant because she knew that New York is specifically run by immigrants. She never experienced discrimination here in New York. Nowadays, Kunduz works as a court interpreter and lives with her husband and her three kids.